Oluola with Timmy Stan in Ann Arbor was short but impactful. He transferred into the Michigan program after a 2021 season at Virginia that left him as one of three finalists for the Remington Trophy, given to college football's best offensive lineman. Starting 35 games for the Cavaliers, Oluola Timmy was a highly decorated player joining a Michigan unit that had just won the Joe Moore Award. His best games in 2022 were Michigan's best games, and that's no accident. The Wolverines ran for 418 yards in a resounding 41-17 win over number 10 Penn State, and two late 75-plus yard touchdown runs helped them pull away from Ohio State in that game too. Ola Timmy made several key blocks in some of the most important moments of those contests to help secure the victories. He was often the guy making the first block that helped secure touchdowns for Heisman candidate Blake Corum and sophomore Phenon Donovan Edwards. Early and often the Wolverines ran straight up the gut through massive holes made by Ola Timmy and the guard next to him. In total, Michigan ran for 238.9 yards a game, good enough for fifth in the country. They were also runners up in rushing touchdowns with 41. By the end of the season, Ola Timmy was the best player on the best offensive line in the country. He secured the Remington Trophy, was the first Outland Trophy winner in program history, was an all Big Ten selection, and was a consensus All-American. On top of that, the offensive line he was a part of became the first back-to-back -back Joe Moore Award winning units in the history of the honor. He's a really smart player that would help call out assignments on the offensive line last season and previously with the Cavaliers. Ola Timmy is going to get a shot at the next level, and the best fit is going to be a team looking to run the football a lot. He's not bad in pass pro, but he's definitely got some things to work on if he's added to a pass-heavy team. Ola Timmy is also only a center. The NFL today loves versatility on the offensive line, and I'm questioning if Ola Timmy has that. Still, he was the best run blocking offensive lineman in college football last season and will hopefully be in a role where he can show that off in the next level. I expect him to go somewhere in the fourth or fifth rounds. For Maze and Brew, I'm Dan Plucker.